Today, let's talk about a time when Jesus stood by. I'm going to read you from Acts chapter 7, verses 55 and 56, where we read this. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. This dramatic description tells the last few moments in the life of Stephen, the first martyr of the early church. As he exposed the sin of the important men of the council that governed Israel, they were convicted and filled with anger against him. Now, this didn't bother Stephen because he was full of the Holy Spirit. What a contrast that was to the behavior of the council. Now we understand why Stephen showed such courage, wisdom, and power in his preaching, because he was full of the Holy Spirit. I like how J.B. Phillips translated this. He translated it like this. Stephen filled through all his being with the Holy Spirit. Hey, that's how we should be filled with the Spirit, through all our being. Then we read that Stephen saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. It's difficult to describe exactly what it was that Stephen saw. We can't say for certain if this was a personal vision or if some sort of window to heaven was opened for him. We do notice that Stephen saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Now, there are several other descriptions in the Bible of Jesus sitting in heaven at the right hand of God the Father. You'll find these in Matthew chapter 26, verse 64, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. We can suppose that Jesus was not sitting, but standing here in solidarity with Stephen at this moment of crisis. Jesus reacts when his people suffer. Some of the ancient Greeks thought that one of the qualities of the gods, as they thought of the gods, was what they called apatheia. They were apathetic. The gods didn't care about the problems of whatever was going on on earth. But that's not the God of the Bible, who is perfectly represented to us in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus noted the great suffering of Stephen. We might also consider that Jesus stood to give a standing ovation to Stephen, whose fate made him unique among all believers. You see, among all the followers of Jesus Christ, Stephen was the first martyr. There were many more to follow, but only one could be first, and that was Stephen. This reminds us of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Jesus said this, Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. You see, Jesus also stood in support of Stephen, assuring him that though Stephen was found guilty and punished on earth, nevertheless, Stephen was found righteous and rewarded by heaven. Jesus did for Stephen exactly what he promised to do, in Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Now, since the time of Stephen, many millions of people have died for the sake of Jesus Christ. But they are, to be honest, only a small percentage of all the disciples of Jesus throughout the centuries. Most of us are not called to die the death of martyrs. Yet, As God gives us the courage and the strength day by day, we can live the life of a martyr. In our own way, we can confess Jesus and then see him confess us before his Father in heaven. Let's stay close to Jesus and find the courage to do that, to live life as martyrs unto the Lord, and find the strength to do that today.